Hey guys, and welcome to this video on big O notation. So here we want to prove that 4 to the power of n is or belongs to big O of 8 to the power of n. So let's first take a look at the definition of big O. So the definition states that if we have a function that we call f of n, then it is or belongs to big O of some function g of n if and only if there exists positive constants that we call c and k such that the absolute value of f of n grows less than or equal to some constant times the absolute value of some function g of n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. So let's go ahead and get started by first identifying our function f of n and our function g of n. So our function f of n is 4 to the power of n and our function g of n is 8 to the power of n. All right. Now, we just need to find two constants, c and k, that would make that statement f of n grows less than or equal to some constant times g of n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. So we just need to find out what makes that equation true. We just need to find c and k values that make that true. All right. So what we can do is we can guess two values for c and k, or we can choose a value for k and then derive a value for c, which is what we're going to do in this video. So let's go ahead and write our equation. So instead of f of n, we have 4 to the power of n grows less than or equal to some constant times. Instead of g of n, we have 8 to the power of n for all values of n greater than or equal to k. All right. Now, of course, our k value, we said we will uh, choose a value for it. So I'm just going to choose a positive constant value for it, like uh, we'll do 2. So 2 seems to work. So here on the left, I will say choose k to be equal to 2. So I'm just choosing some arbitrary uh, positive constant value. So now I'm going to switch out that k for 2. So now we have set up our equation. And now let's derive a value for our constant value c. Alright, so if we rewrite our equation here, if we by dividing both sides by 8 to the power of n, we get 4 to the power of n divided by 8 to the power of n is less than or equal to some constant times 8 to the power of n divided by 8 to the power of n for all values of n greater than or equal to 2. All right, and we rewrite this again. Then we get 1 over 2 to the power of n on the left side. Uh, let me rewrite that make it look a little bit better, hopefully. So you get 1 over 2 to the power of n is less than or equal to c times, well, 8 divided by n, I mean, 8 to the power of n divided by 8 to the power of n is just 1. For all values of n greater than or equal to 2. All right. So what's the maximum value that this left-hand side can be? 1 one over 2 to the power of n. Well, since our value of n starts at 2 and continues onward, then the maximum that that left-hand side can be is 1 fourth, the maximum uh, value that it can be. As n increases, 1 over 2 to the power of n will decrease. All right. So what this means is we can choose... Oh, I'm still have the eraser on. So we can choose our value C to be equal to 1 over 2 to the power of 2, which is equal to 1 over 4. So we could choose C to, equal to, uh, to be equal to 1 fourth or any value that's greater than 1 fourth for all values of N greater than or equal to 2. All right, so now let's uh, erase some of this 
um, simplification that we did. So I'm just deriving of C here. And we're going to go back to our original equation. And now where we have C, we're going to plug in our value that we just discovered or derived for C, which is 1 fourth. Okay? And so now this statement is true. But if you don't immediately see it, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to show you guys, we're going to just keep simplifying it until it's a little bit more obvious. So I'm going to rewrite the equation. We get 4 to the n is less than or equal to 1 fourth times 2 to the power of n times 4 to the power of n. So 2 to the power of n times 4 to the power of n is equal to 8 to the power of n. For all values of n greater than or equal to 2. And now what we can do is, um, let's see here how I want to do this. Uh, we can divide both sides by 4 to the power of n. So now we're just going to get 1 on the left-hand side. is less than or equal to uh, 2 to the power of n divided by 4. For all values of n greater than or equal to 2. And... Let's derive this a little bit more if it's still not obvious. So this is 1 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of n divided by 2 to the power of 2 for all values of n greater than or equal to 2. And hopefully now it's, it's looking a little bit more obvious. But if it's still not looking obvious yet, we're going to derive it one more time or simplify this a little bit more. So 1 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of n minus 2 for all values of n greater than or equal to 2. So this statement is always true. It's always true. Because our value n is greater than or equal to 2. So 1 is less than or equal to 2 to the power of 2 minus 2, which is 1, of course. Um, as n increases, then... 2 to the power of n minus 2 will also increase. All right, so what we can also now put on the left-hand side is these three dots, which stands for therefore, since we have uh, finished our proof, we can say therefore f of n belongs to big O of g of n, which implies that... 4 to the power of n belongs to big O of 8 to the power of n. And that is our answer. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any questions you have in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button. I'll be sure to put more videos on algorithm analysis, big O, computer science, discrete math topics, all in the uh, description. So you guys can check out those links and videos. And if you found this video helpful, please share it. Maybe it'll be helpful for other people as well. And as always, guys, thanks for watching 